What's happening, YouTube? It's Chuck back with Chuck's Hobby Spot. Well, the day has finally come. The second Henry J is actually finished. I finished this build actually, I think, on uh, Saturday. But I did a little touch up on it Sunday. So I guess technically it was done on Sunday. But uh, today's Monday. I don't know when I'll drop this video. But I just wanted to do a quick vid to let you know the Henry J is finished. Uh, this is the second time, two times I've shot this video. So uh, the first time the grandson came in, kind of bugged me. And guy got sidetracked. And of course, you know, it's always uh, me and the grandkids. So. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. This is the second one. This is the first one that I, I did. Uh, we've already done a video on the first one. So we'll kind of recap a little bit on the first one. And then and then we'll uh, show you the differences that I've done to the second one. So let's go ahead and put this one aside just for a minute. Okay. It's coming, guys. So this one here, I, I did this one and... I actually did blue accents on this. So it's got the blue windows. It's got the blue interior. Watch, I'll show you with this here. The interior is blue and white. So let me see if I can do a better video now on this one with the uh, interior. So these Henry J's are similar uh, type of build I did on them. You can see I have switches on the dash and everything. Same thing with this one here. I don't know how to get... I got to do this, guys, to do that. So uh, you can see there's switches and stuff for, like, like the tack and the oil and the and the, uh, the cooling fan and stuff like that. You know how they would have seat belts all done. I scratch built the roll bar and fire extinguisher in there. So it, it's it's pretty much stuff I've shown you guys. Here's the engine, a little bit of the engine. Um, again, a lot of scratch building. Uh, Lincoln scratch built, dipstick scratch built. Uh, all my stuff is on, on here is plumbed. My carbs are plumbed. My my uh, master cylinders plumbed. plumbed. Uh, same as the other side. I you, let me turn it around without ruining it. Same as this side, everything. I ran coil, wired, distributor, wired. Everything's plumbed. Got a f uh, fuel pump. That's all plumbed. MSD box, wired. The whole nine yards on the motor like I usually do. Uh, the hood fits real nice. I've showed you on the last bit. I built, I built pins and stuff in here, and they're sitting right here. So they go in here, and they actually go inside here. I did the same thing to the other one. The paint, Gamma Gold. It's, I love this stuff. It's scale finishes. You cannot go wrong with scale finishes paint. So here's the back. Do these tires make my ass look fat? No. <laughs> well, they sure do. So that's the first one. That's just a quick recap on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second one. And the second one I did in Scale Finishes, Root Beer Brown by House of Colors, sold by Scale Finishes. And I can't say enough about Scale Finishes. They've actually pulled me out of a lot of jams. They actually pulled me out of a jam on the on the Roadrunner that I'm getting ready to do. I'm in the middle of building now. Uh, Jamestown is a awesome dude, man. I can't say enough about him. He treats me very well. Every show I go to, he hooks me up. He's, he's a good dude. So if... If you guys are looking for scale finishes, put in the code CHUCKS10, get 10% off. Uh, you guys can get hooked up too. This guy's a, he's a stand-up dude. Probably one of my favorite guys out there. So anyway, enough of the paint. Uh, there's your plug, Jameson. <laughs> so this is my second Henry J. Uh, I chose to do the wheels a little different. These are, uh, I don't even know where I got these wheels. They are a 3D printed wheel. So is this one. This here is the new Revell Chrome. You just can't touch it. So don't touch that stuff or it will come off just like anything else. I chose to go with the red windows on this and red accents. 
So you can see everything on this. This one here is done with the red accents. Uh, here's the interior. So you can see on this one, I did the same thing. Switches, wired, everything's wired. Switches, same, same with the seats. Two-tone. It's got a fire extinguisher in there. Clear red plastic. You can see through it right there. The, this video doesn't do good with this clear plastic. You can't really see through it like you could like near the car. Let's take a look at the business end of this thing. And you can see, I again, I did my, my uh, linkage like I always do. Scratch built it. Added my nets and bolts and uh still braided hoses plumbed it uh master cylinder is plumbed that's a resin 3d printed master cylinder i don't know where i got it uh i did the hood pins on this this thing shuts perfect i don't want to grab it and do it on the video because i don't want to break anything so here's the other side plumbed uh wired plumbed same as the last kit. I built them pretty similar. This is this here. I should mention this. This is a Iceman Resin 572 big block with dominators. This engine is awesome. Went together beautiful. It's clean. Everything I've always gotten from Joel from Iceman Resins uh, is awesome. So Iceman Collections, man. If you guys are into getting engines, aftermarket motors, or, or even parts or whatever... He's a great guy, product right out to you. He's actually in my club, the friend of mine, personal friend of mine. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I would not even plug him if his work wasn't that great. I mean, but it, I plug him in almost every video because I, I can't get enough of his, his stuff. So, uh, again, this paint on this, this kit is root beer brown, house of color. I'm digging on it. I love this color. A lot of people love the color on here. Uh, we're working on better lighting in here. So I'm using a flashlight right now. But uh, I think after you, Tom, I'm going to change some of the lighting in my room. This thing's got dust all over it. So so uh, there's the back. Hey, guys, this these tires make my ass look fat. Well, sure does. Anyway, so... Uh, the bottom we got red uh red uh accents the frame uh i did take and make it look like the headers burnt burnt the bottom a little bit from the heat kind of weathered it a little but that's where we are with this thing i'm actually really happy with it i hope everybody else is uh if you're not you can go ahead and just boo the heck out of me but uh you know, that's, that's my crap, I guess. I don't know why you guys watch this crap, but you do. <laughs> why do you watch this crap? So, uh, I'm sure everyone out there is sick and tired of hearing about Henry J's. I know I'm about getting sick of it, but when it's done, they're, they're pretty. <laughs> so, uh, I'm glad you guys put up with, uh, with my Henry J fetish for a little while. And uh, on to the next one. We're going to start on that USAC build. We're doing the, the Roadrunner. So that's that's the group build we're all in. I think i got till March to finish it. So I need to get my telling gear. And I've got another project coming up that I'm going to do for Utah. These two are for Utah. I don't know if I'm going to take the Roadrunner to Utah. Probably will. Uh, in the next bit, I'll let you know what else I'm going to work on for Utah. So the next two builds I'm going to be doing... Is the 70 Roadrunner and the surprise kit on my left. So next video, you get to see what that's all about. So uh, lots of cool stuff happening in the near future for this channel. Uh, so stay tuned. You guys are going to get a kick out of what's coming up next. Uh, just hang in there, guys. So this is Chuck with Chuck's Hobby Slot signing out. Thanks for watching my crap. I don't know why you watch this crap, but you do, and I thank you. Don't forget to to comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Tell your family, I don't know, tell your friends, tell your grandma. <laughs> uh, talk to you in the next vid. See you then, guys. Take care. Bye.